Hiroma. I need to know exactly what happened. Please. Kobe. Please. I need to know. What have you heard? It doesn't matter. All right? I want to hear it from you. Kobe, let's just... Just... I can handle it. I promise, just... Just tell me the truth. Start from the beginning. Fine. It was three nights ago. Monday night. It was, it was really late. I was in bed. When I heard the doorbell. He was really handsome. His face had a certain compelling honesty about it. Then he gave me a rose. May I come inside? Oh, I don't know what came over me. It was like I was under a spell. But his presence, oh, his presence. His presence had this warmth. And then what happened? He sat. We sat and we talked. He was so attentive, he was so sweet. He even fed me chocolates. And before I knew it, we were so comfortable with each other. I was in his arms, he was in my arms. He would whisper sweet words in my ears. You're so beautiful. I want to kiss every inch of your sexy body. Can I please make love to you? Do you want me to stop? No. I need to know what happened. He gently undressed me. Then I took off his clothes. At that point, I knew there was no turning back. We were face to face, chest to chest. Oh, he made love to me. He made love to me like no man has That's ever made. No! That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I've heard enough. Kobe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know how I let this happen. You were out of town oh, no. and just... I was lonely! Stop. Kobe, what I did was awful. I'm an awful person. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just human. You deserve so much better. You're a good man. You deserve so much better. If you don't want to marry me, I I understand, I just don't want to do this. I still want to marry you. Listen, I... Don't touch me, please.
No, no, no. Just look at me. I still want to marry you. Why? I love you. Okay? I'm going to make sure you get all the help. What do you mean help? Just... Kobe, what do you mean help? Just trust me, okay? Hold on. Same story. I think it's time we called a professional. She, she must be coping in her own way. I really need to figure out what happened that night. It was three nights ago. Monday night. It was really late. I was in bed when I heard the doorbell. He was really handsome. Then he gave me a rose. I don't know what came over me. It was like I was under a spell. His presence. His presence had this warmth. He even fed me chocolates. And before I knew it, we were so comfortable with each other. I was in his arms, he was in my arms. He would whisper sweet words in my ears. Where the money do? Where the money do? Why you gonna figure me? Why you gonna figure give me? At that point, I knew there was no turning back. We were face to face, chest to chest. Oh, he made love to me.
video. Rolling. Rolling. Action. So I play the character of Kobe in the movie Three Nights Ago. And Three Nights Ago is it's a it's a complicated piece. I don't even know how to describe it because the way it was written, it has such a simple story, but it speaks so much to the complexities. And the idea is that it's it's addressing the the, the many things that have to do with post-traumatic stress and how people deal with it. So there's the usual way that people deal with things, which is we just ignore it because that's the easiest thing to do. But the idea behind the story is that that is actually the last thing you should be doing because many people go through stress all the time, but because it might be uncomfortable, sometimes we just choose to ignore it. We choose to step back and allow them to go through it and just be like, oh, you know, it's happened, forget about it. The trauma itself is only the beginning. After that, that's where the real trouble comes and that's where people actually need to pay attention to. So. My character Kobe um, tries to portray that particular principle in that he has a fiance who has been abused and the task now falls on him to help her through it basically, however way that he can. She is dealing with it in a, a way that's not the best, All right, she's having her own fantasies, she's broken away from reality, but um, he does a great thing where he tries to help her through it instead of just allowing her to do what she thinks is best for her. And I believe that's the idea behind the story. So kudos to the writer, man. Gene did a he did a pretty amazing job. And the team behind this is is awesome. If you don't like the short film, then as your choice, but I'm pretty sure that you will. So from the cast, from the crew, from everyone involved in this piece, we hope that you enjoy our message and you enjoy the movie. So I play the role of a Rama in the short film Three Nights Ago or Three NA. Um, it's about how people deal with different traumas in their life and the post-traumatic stress that they go through and the different mechanisms that they develop just to, just to get over that hurdle. Now, I have a loving husband in the short film, which is great because it's important to display how people should react to people who actually go through traumatic experiences or life-changing experiences and how people should actually come out and tell the truth and actually seek for help. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this script for about a year and I've been back and forth, am I gonna play the role? Am I not gonna play the role? Am I gonna do it? Because to step into the shoes of someone who has been raped and to be able to live through that experience, that is heart-wrenching. That is something that you just don't take for granted. But I decided to do it because I knew the message that we were trying to create and I knew that it was important, especially in Africa, where everything in Africa is. Give it to God, sweep it under the rug, don't talk about it. It was important for us to actually make a movie and tell people that you actually have to stand up and you actually have to speak out. Just like they said, the truth will set you free. So unless you actually come to the point where you are okay with the truth, you're never ever gonna be able to get through that hurdle. Now, I did so much research before I played this role. We spoke to specialists who actually told us different mechanisms that people actually undertake to be able to go through traumatic you know, experiences, such as repression, depression, denial, fantasy, which is what 3NA is about, where somebody actually detaches herself from reality to be able to deal with her rape experience. That's, that's beyond me. It's not everybody that can experience it, but there are some people who do that. But the most important thing is that there is help. There are people who are willing to actually help people through this traumatic experience so that you can live a normal life. But it's up for all those people around them, all the loved ones, those of us who are around them, to actually make them feel comfortable enough to come out and say, I am ready to, to receive that help. So if anything at all, I wish the people who are watching this short film if you know anybody who's gone through this experience, just go to them and say, I am here for you, take your time, but eventually we're gonna get you the help you need. And that's the most important thing. I'm the mysterious stranger in the film three nights ago. Um, it's a wonderful movie, um, the cast is amazing, the setting is beautiful, the production team is awesome and um, 
I hope the message the film is trying to portray is going to be heard. Um, no matter what situation you are in, the way you handle it um, speaks about you and it shows how able, how well you will be able to go through the situation, whatever you are going through. And this movie portrays that. And I got a chance to work with Sikause, beautiful talent, and the writer of the script too is amazing. The storyline is beautiful. The production team is awesome. Um, I love, I loved working on this project. Um, it wasn't easy playing this role because um, personally, inflicting pain to other people is not my thing. So I had to like come out of my shells. And it was really tough, but we made it. So I hope you all enjoy it. It's a beautiful thing. Cut.